Hey guys, it's Easy Hardscope here, and I've got another video for you guys today. Um, so I know a lot of you guys play racing games on your PC out there, and a lot of you guys probably have an old console or a new console, and you're thinking, well, what if I can use my controller to play the racing game on my PC? Because obviously using the arrow keys is no fun because it's either, whoops, 100% of your turning or gas or none and you have no like control over your throttle you can't turn a little bit you're turning max all the time you know it's just hard to play a racing game on the pc with a keyboard so um i'm sure a lot of you guys have wondered how can i hook my ps3 controller up or how can i hook my xbox controller up or you know xbox one ps4 all those and I'm gonna go ahead and get show you guys how to do that and it'll be a lot easier to play racing games and actually really maybe any type of game as long as you can figure the controller right so you're gonna need a software it's an S alright guys so you're gonna need to download this it's an SDP driver package and basically what it's gonna do is let your computer recognize that you have a controller plugged in and it's going to let it uh, map your controller it's going to recognize all the buttons when you push them etc so you can go into your racing program game whatever and you can map your buttons how you would like them or it most likely as beam ng does it's going to have a pre-map which basically just turns on as soon as it recognize my controller and I configure it so what you're gonna need to do let me go back you're gonna open that it's a zip file and you're gonna go to SCP server and you're gonna go to bin and then you want to go to scpdriver.exe give that a second and you're gonna go ahead and give it administrator powers and then you're gonna hit install which I'm not gonna do because I've already done and it gives you everything you need to use this program and all of its features. So you're going to go to scpserver.exe and you want to go ahead and run that. And then hit run. And it's not going to notice mine right now in the momento. What you want to do is go to scpmonitor.exe and go ahead and start that. Go ahead and run it. Okay, can you can you can see the SCP monitor says server connected. So now it's going to recognize my controller, which you guys can't see here because it already knows it's connected, so it's not going to show you. But here it's going to show a controller, and I don't know why it's not right now, but it, normally it will. So once you can see that, you're going to click the controller which will be listed here as pad 1 and you're going to click the little check button downsize that and then go to the SCP monitor and start that so now it's going to recognize all your buttons um, one thing about this program is when you are going to use it every time you restart your computer you're going to have to reopen the program and you're going to have to run the service and monitor files you don't ever need to run the um, scpdriver.exe again but you need to run this and you need to run that every time you turn your computer on alright so I'm gonna go back to BeamNG Drive and show you guys the configuration page and that it is reading my controller and hopefully this guys helps you out a lot right, blah, blah. wow hopefully this helps you guys out a lot <laughs> Alright guys, so now that we've set up the SCP server, I'm going to go ahead and show you now that the BeamNG Drive game recognizes my controller. So if you can see all these axis buttons here um, in this area, and which you, if you're playing BeamNG Drive, you're just going to configure and your controller is set up. So you can see it recognizes my X, O, triangle, 
square all of my triggers uh, left right up down select start every button on the controller it reads and I can program to do something in the game so I hope this guy I hope this helped you guys out a lot and I will be making more videos so stay tuned and hopefully something I post helps you guys even more than this does thanks for watching